family, talking about putting God first. I'm here with a good friend of mine, uh, Brandon Pettigrew. Brandon is an incredible friend, an incredible husband and father. He's also an incredible leader here at the Worship Center. He's one of our stellar deacons and uh, is just crushing it for the kingdom. Brandon's background is in the area of finance. But more importantly, B, you told me about an incredible experience that you've had when it comes to putting God first. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, it all started um, probably earlier of last year, 2001, I think probably around March, February. Um, you know, throughout the years when you introduce SOAP, um, you know, I've had varying degrees of discipline in terms of just doing it every day. But it just dawned on me after reading a verse in 2 Samuel 24, 24, where David bought a threshing floor and one of the, I guess one of his people said he was going to give it to him for free. But David said, no, I will not, you know, sacrifice burnt offerings for free. You know, I want it to cost me something. Yeah. And that resonated with me. And I decided at that point that I was going to be more disciplined with my soap, but more importantly, I was going to do it first thing in the morning. Wow. Even though, you know, I may be tired no matter what I've done. And I'm talking not you know, um, doing multitasking, you know, doing the soap while I'm doing nothing, but just unadulterated time with the father. And first thing in the morning, first thing in the morning. Okay. I mean, no matter what, if, if I had somewhere to be by six, I mean, I need to get up around four, four thirty to do my prayer. And soap. that's, okay. that's what I dedicated to do. So when that happened, long story short, the Lord provided three opportunities for me from a career perspective, opportunities that literally I've been praying for for 20 years. Wow, okay, hold on. So the moment you put God first mm -hmm. and said, the first thing I'm gonna do is get up in the morning and have my time with you. Right after that, you're saying that all of these incredible opportunities came and you've been praying for them for like 20 years? Yes. That's crazy. Like, tell yeah. us more about that. So, I mean, literally um, got up, started getting up. It was hard, but I mean, I, I decided that's what I was going to do. And literally within a couple of weeks, I received one opportunity that, you know, was a great opportunity, an opportunity where I was going to, you know, provide some services, um, financial services to the city of Birmingham. But then literally about a month later, I received another opportunity with this CDFI fund that's a mission driven organization where I was going to work with um, underserved and overlooked consumers and business owners, but then literally three months later, an even better opportunity came <laughs> that literally is almost like my dream opportunity that I've been thinking about and praying about for wow. literally 20 years. And wow. um, the Lord has really blessed and it, it's, I just want to just tell people that when you literally put God first, wow. he will take care of the rest. Wow, wow, so family, I can't say it any better than that. From Brandon, God has literally blown his mind and blessed he and his family in radical ways because he committed to put God first. And if God will do it in Brandon's life, what will you do in your life?